10% to 80%, that is the gold standard of charging your electric vehicle at a public DC fast charging station. My name is Merch Batista and this is Charging the Road. Now before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell for more content out of this channel. Now I bet you guys are asking, Merchie, didn't you just post a video up on the channel for like a DC fast charging? Well, yes I did. Um, it's, uh, it's actually from 1% to 100%. You guys can actually watch it right up there. Um, what we ended up doing is we just wanted to do a quick uh, a DC fast charging from 1% to 100%. We wanted to know how long it actually takes to charge from empty to full and those results took about 90 minutes now we're actually doing a 10 percent to 80 percent because that's considered as the gold standard of dc fast charging your electric vehicle and so i've gotten a lot of responses from within the maki community to see how the vehicle is going to behave from 10 percent to 80 percent and not only just on any uh dc fast charging machine for electrify america we're actually going to be experimenting on a 350 kilowatt machine now the reason being for a 350 kilowatt machine is that our amps uh, will be higher so that way the vehicle can accept the full power, the full range. So that way we can see what the true results are from charging from 10% to 80%. So this is what we're doing right now. All right, so we're already beginning at right around 165 kilowatts to start within the first minute of charging my Ford Mustang Mach-E. Remember, this is a 350 kilowatt machine, hyper fast, Electrify America. These stats will also work on a 350 kilowatt EV Go machine as well, as long as you're not sharing, sharing. And already like just about two minutes into the charging session which is going to be two minutes in a second um now we're already climbing down 116 150 kilowatts which is uh you know honestly like I, you figure that you figure like maybe later down on the road they'll probably end up fixing um how this can be behaved and whatnot so i really don't like it how like it just went from like 165 all the way down to 115 113 well i'll bid you not though like um the battery itself has already been well toasty but I will say this though, the temperatures out here in Chicago has been dropping a little bit down to like a, so like in the lower 60s, upper 50s at this point right now. But two minutes into the charging session right now and we're already holding up at 115, 114. So we'll see what happens from here. As you can see, we have already started our, our session here. Um, we're already in six minutes into the charging session here and we're holding off around between 114 to 116 kilowatts. I already have my GoPro camera. I tried sticking it into the in, onto the onto the wind, window here, but for whatever reason, did not want to stick. So I'm getting a little frustrated. So I'm just gonna like uh, point it forward, crop it, and then see what we can do from there. In order for me to do this, um, we've done the exact same thing as we've done before. We turn off the vehicle, no climate control, no radio, and. So that way all the juice can go straight to the battery. Um, so that way the timing can be as accurate as it can be. Now I did try to do, <laughs> it's funny enough though, I did try to film this uh, the day prior and um, it turns out both my phone and my GoPro's battery were pretty much down to like 5% and so I couldn't really do the filming without charging them first. I completely forgot to charge them. It said it took about 39 minutes to charge from 10% to 80%. Now we are session number two, and actually today is a little, tonight is actually a little chillier. It's actually 12.30 in the morning to be honest. Um, and it's a little bit chillier now. It's in the upper 50s right now, all here in Chicago. Actually we're in the, the suburbs of Villa Park, Illinois. And yeah, we're gonna see how the results are like here and then we're also going to show you what the GoPro shows us as far as how the behavior of the charging curve has done with DC fast charging on a 350 kilowatt machine. Alright, so as you can see here, the charging time so far is now up to 10 minutes. We're at 33% stated charge and we're still kind of holding up uh, right around the range between 112 and 113. We've already deployed about 20 kilowatt hour back into the battery pack and that is my total charging cost right now. Now in this particular station, 
This costs 56 cents per kilowatt hour, but I get a 14 cent discount with Electrify America and with Lyft because I also work for, I also do ride share. And so, yeah, look at that. We're now down to like 110, 111, 109. So it's slowly but surely kind of sliding down a bit as we're making our progress here. All right, we're now in 20 minutes into the charging time. We're at 52% state of charge. We're now down to about 96 to 93 kilowatts. So it's kind of going up and down between up and down like that. And then we've actually generated about 37 kilowatt hour back into the battery pack. So far, my charging cost session is around $15.45. As you can see right there, it's only cost me $0.42 cents per kilowatt hour. Again, I'm getting a $0.14 cent discount from $0.56 cents because I have the, the, uh, the lift discount. All right, we are now at 30 minutes within the charging time of this session, and we're at 67% state of charge. We're now pulling in about roughly 180 to 81 kilowatts back into the battery. Um, and back into the battery what am i saying we're pulling the, the the charging rate is at 80 to 81 kilowatts and then the energy delivered back into the battery pack is about 51 kilowatt hour so far that's my charging cost 21 dollars and 21 cents like i said this uh this particular site charges uh 56 cents per kilowatt hour but again i'm getting the 14 cent discount to 42 kilowatt hour so we're not too far away from um you know reaching the 80 percent state of charge my good guess is this is probably going to be right around, around the same uh result as we had as i had from earlier from 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 yesterday so it's going to be roughly around 39 minutes all right so we're actually concluding here we're at 79 i'm not sure if you guys can able to see it but we're at 79 percent state of charge so far the charging time is at 38 minutes right on cue exactly what we had was the results from from yesterday when i was charging from 10 percent to 80 percent at this uh, not at the same location but the same but the same kind of machine 350 kilowatt machine or electrify america so look at that already now the charging time is at 39 minutes we're at 79 percent state of charge which is waiting until we reach the 80 and look at that the kilowatts is now down to 68 kilowatts energy delivered 20, 62 kilowatt hour 79 79 79 so we're just kind of waiting until this wraps up to like 80%. Once we hit to 80%, then we're gonna, we're gonna hit stop. There we go, we're gonna hit stop. All right, and the final results here. Um, it is, the final results here. Total energy delivery is 62.5 kilowatt hour and the state charge 80% charging time, 39 minutes. And the total cost for me was about $26.25 from 10% to 80% exactly how it was yesterday for me. So these are your results. All right, so we're actually back with the GoPro camera. I managed to uh, recapture this and attach it right to the screen. So right off the bat, as we're going to 10% state of charge, within the first minute, we shot up uh, as far as high as is 158 kilowatts as you saw before but after that one minute it dipped all the way back down to like 111 112 and so continues to flicker between 111 and 112 kilowatts within the first five minutes and actually the first five after the five minutes now dips down to about 106 105 kilowatts after 25 percent stated charge and at this point we've already put in about 15 kilowatt hour back into the battery pack and so now the curve is kind of going back up to about 108 and 107 106 105 so it's kind of like hovering between the two uh there which is a little strange maybe it's because the weather has to do something with it because the temperature at that at that day too was the same thing so we're about 38 39 percent state of charge and now we're about we're about down to 95 96 kilowatts now again these results are just are extremely similar to what the tests we did from zero to zero percent to one hundred percent, right around the same uh, state of charge. Um, so the charging time really doesn't really matter. It's really just the amount. Of this is really where the state of charge is at as well. Um, but uh, you know the results may vary. So we're now at fifty percent state of charge. We're about eight, hovering between seventy nine and eighty kilowatts. And about charging time right now is about twenty two minutes, starting from ten percent. And we've already, uh, and at this point, we're about forty kilowatt hours back into the battery pack. And then as we continue on to go further, 
up to 58 59 percent stated charge you'll see that the kilowatts are pretty much hovering around 77 kilowatts now as i was moderating this this is pretty much what's going to be like until we've reached the 80 percent stated charge but i digress this may this may end up just being the case and so forth um so now at this point the charging time is about 30 minutes into the charging session and we're still hovering between 78 and 79 kilowatts. So this has been, so that point is like the most stable uh, charging speed at this point with the Maki. -E. So the uh, the video is actually going to stop abruptly right around 80 percent. But basically, once we reach the 80 percent state of charge, it's going to dip all the way down to 40, 42 kilowatts. But basically, these are the charging speeds that are going to be set to set to 80 percent state of charge. And once again, the charging time is at 39 minutes. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, exactly what the results was for me yesterday when I was doing a 10% and 80% charge. We got the exact same results. It took us 39 minutes to charge from 10% to 80%. That's an improvement, but it seems to be a little underwhelming than what it was before. Because it used to be before, it used to take about roughly around between roughly around 45 minutes to charge from 10 percent to 80 percent before all the software updates now i'm honestly curious though we are charging at a 350 kilowatt machine but how long will it actually take to charge on a 150 kilowatt machine i'm probably gonna end up doing that on my own and probably gonna end up sharing that on the forum page just look out for me uh the maki forum angel nx 1985 that is my handle so don't forget to say hi guys and everything all right guys so hopefully that uh, charging test was pretty helpful for everybody again this is the gold standard of charging for 10 percent to 80 percent the reason why we stop at 80 percent is because that's usually the cutoff uh time when Let's start that over now the reason why we actually stop at 80 percent that's because the uh, the vehicle uh slows down the acceptance of power so that way it starts to cool off to prevent the battery from exploding that's why we i always recommend and i strongly urgently recommend that when you're doing a dc fast charging stop at 80 percent and be on your way you have more than enough range for the day or day and a half in any cases but anyways guys thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more ev content until then guys have a good one and stay smashing